best bites forever. Hey, what's up? Today I am making Italian sausage and chicken soup with kale and kabocha squash. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so, and let's rock it out. I am starting off here with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in my pot, and to that I am adding some onion. The onion here is pre-chopped, obviously. I'm putting about a cup in there, and do keep in mind this recipe dates back to when my hand got hurt. I don't know if you all remember that, but it happened. Anyway, I'm also going to add in about a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt on top of those onions, and then I want to give them a nice little stir to make sure everything is coated. Next, I'm adding in about a teaspoon of garlic, and fresh chopped is obviously better, but I am using pre-chopped for this particular recipe. I'm going to cook that around until my onions start to become translucent, and then I'm going to add in one and one-third pounds of an Italian sausage. Now, you can use mild here, or you can use hot, or whatever you would like. I used mild in my recipe because I am kind of a wuss when it comes to heat. So I'm going to go ahead and cook that around until it's nice and brown and then I'm going to add in my kabocha squash. You could see there that I have some pre-cut frozen squash and this comes in a one pound package but I'm going to use about three quarters of it. Again, you can use as much or as little as you want. I really love this brand by the way too. I got it at Sprouts if you happen to have a Sprouts near you and if not then I imagine other grocery stores also <laughs> carry it. So at this time just kind of scrape the bottom of your pan and make sure that nothing is sticking. If you have a really sticking situation, add a tiny bit of water to just kind of deglaze it and get everything unstuck. Next, we're going to add in some thyme. I didn't have any particular measurement there, but just like a handful of fresh thyme. If you don't have fresh, if you don't have fresh, you can use dried. You would probably use about a teaspoon or so of dried. I added in a little bit of chicken broth, and again, I'm just scraping the bottom of my pan here because I want to make sure that nothing is sticking. Here I have some frozen kale, and I literally just like beat it while it was in the bag so that it was chopped up, as you can see. Put that in. Next, I have a little bit of chicken. Now, this particular chicken I had done a while back, and I had frozen it because we had like a ton of chicken, and I knew there was no way we were going to eat it. But you could definitely use like leftover rotisserie chicken or canned chicken if that's what you happen to have. Whatever like leftover is, you know, super simple to put in here. Go ahead and add in a little bit more salt, probably around a half of a teaspoon up to a teaspoon depending on how salty you like things. The next thing I added in was a little bit of black pepper and again freshly ground would be better but I couldn't work my grinder. Oop that wine is for me not for the pot. I also added in a touch of cayenne pepper maybe an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon and an additional cup of water. So I'm going to go ahead and let this come up to a boil. It'll just take a minute or two and then I'm going to add a slurry. So a slurry is is a combination of cornstarch and water. In this case, I have two teaspoons of cornstarch and like one or two tablespoons of water. You want to stir that together until it is completely lump free and then you can add it into your boiling soup. I'm going to let this continue to boil for like four or five minutes and then I just want to check the doneness of my squash. It should be nice and soft and break apart easily. That is done and gorgeous. Do a final taste test. Make sure that your seasonings, your salt and pepper and thyme are nice and balanced the way that you want them. I also made some biscuits to go with it, like one giant biscuit with garlic and there is my plate up. Hey, if you haven't subscribed already, now would be a great time and I will see See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and happy cooking, everyone.